This show furnished by Joe Collins. I was about to rap. That's how we ended our last show, rapping. You remember, remember that? Yeah, we had all the rappers on and everything. It was fire. Yep, I loved it. it you, was... you know what was really fire? What was that? The whole campaign was fire. That's true. That's true. And, and I'm I'm really thankful that everything did really, really, really go well. But the show will not stop. Say that again. You're really thankful that everything everything went go well? No, no. I said I'm thankful that everything went well. The show did not stop. And it's still it's still in stuff. We went on break though. Exactly. We went on break and now we're back. Exactly. We got a new name too. There's a lot of stuff that's been happening lately too. Tell them about it. Let me let's let's hear about it. So <laughs> congratulations. Joe Biden is your president. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Say it again, please. Congratulations. Joe Biden is your president. I think it's sad. It's sad for America. It's, it's absolutely sad for America. The reason why, it shows that America is not ready to move on. I mean, you have these establishment politicians. Mm -hmm. 50 years in office, Joe Biden. 47, Maxine. 46, Nancy Pelosi. Chuck Schumer. Mitch McConnell. All of these people. And they don't want to give it up. How is it that Joe Biden has a mental degenerative disease and he is the president. And people say that 80 million people voted for this man, seriously. But I'm going to tell you why. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you why I'm the most disappointed. Why? I'm the most disappointed because all of this, all of this claims of voter fraud and and all of this stuff. I was expecting martial law today. I was just like on the hills of my on my bed, and I'm like, oh, it's about to go down, martial law. Then they swear, man. Okay, any day now. If now he's walking to the White House, any day now, 17 right. executive orders. Right. I'm just like, you know what? It ain't happening. <clears throat> if <clears throat> excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, if it was gonna happen, it would have to have been at least a week prior. Um, so when when it didn't happen six, seven to six, six to seven days prior, yeah, I knew it. I was just like all right. I mean, really, all jokes aside, um, when I watched, did you did you watch his farewell? Did you watch? I saw it. I, I saw something, and and, and I want to state this unequivocally. You know, a lot of people, Joe, you're a father. I'm a father, and we we really, I watched the thing that I was watching the most was his family. I watched a family, people, they were all crying. Mm -hmm. And people have talked bad about this man and his relationship with his kids and how he wasn't this. And I saw a family that was hurting. I saw Absolutely. a family. It was, it was deep to me because, like, I was like, wow. You know, these people have taken, they've talked about everything from their mom, their dad. They even talk about their dog, their hamster. They got hamsters? Yeah, they had hamsters as kids, you know. They they were talking bad about their hamster. Like, they had illegal hamsters, you know. Yep. So, it, it, we were... Because they we, were from Russia, right? No, no, not, they weren't even... They said they were Gu Guadalajaran. Guadalajaran hamsters. Yes. Yes. So, they said they weren't legal. It, it was like, you know, so they were... Yeah, that illegal deal. hamsters. Exactly. You know, I find that hard to believe because President Trump was was building an entire wall across the southern border. And how did he get Guadalajara and hamsters into the United States? You and one day Joe Biden is already executive order to stop the building of the wall. That that was about to stop. So we changed the name of the show. Yes. To the new black Republican. Say it again. The new black Republican. The thing you have to understand it, I need you to turn the radio up. I need you to make sure you're listening unattentively. Say that name one more time. The new black Republican. Yes, sir. That, that's why we changed it. You know why I changed the name? I, I went to change the name because, you know, Real Talk Radio it was cool. But at the end of the day, I feel like the Republican Party legitimately left the urban community out. Wow. And we have, well, you know, with the work that we did in the inner city, we got a lot of people to vote Republican. Yes. Without 
the support of the national party or even the state party coming into our communities. It was all people. It was mm-hmm. all people, all grassroots. And so now with the the now political climate, people not wanting to support Joe Biden or Kamala Harris, I think that it's time for us to usher in a new type of uh, of conservative, a new type of Republican, and that is the black man as a Republican. Because, I mean, like, you look at Joe Biden. Mm. Joe, Bi- Joe Biden wouldn't even nominate a black man. Not at all. He nominated an overweight, white, transgender woman to be over the Health and Human Services did you, Department. Did you? I thought I was the only person who saw that. Yeah. Did, what, when? He fi- did he you fired, see? He fired the, the health inspector, the black guy who was in the Navy. The guy who was the black Navy gentleman. Who's the health inspector? Fired. He was replaced with an overweight transgender. I said the health department, Wayne. I... With the overweight transgender white, I don't know if you want to call him a man or a woman or something like that. And to add insult to injury, I think he has syphilis around his mouth. In I the saw, name of I Jesus. I saw the pictures. <laughs> Listen, hear me out. Wow. He- hear me out. You know I like roasting people, but I'm serious right now. We just got a brand new president a couple hours ago. We did. I saw a picture of this guy smoking a crack pipe, and he had the, the blisters all over his mouth. I... I haven't, I haven't seen that picture. If like that said. guy asked me to cross the street, I'd be like, sorry, sir or ma'am, I'm not crossing any streets because I saw <laughs> that picture with that stuff on your face. Hey, you know what the tough part is, though, Joe Collins? I, I want you to really catch this. Right now, as you've understood, the, the urban dexterity of politics today. Because there's a, a Do me whole, a favor. Can you explain what urban dexterity mean? Because you're using big words. Uh, and I know a lot of people don't know what it means. I'm going to take it at disrespect. <laughs> so watch your mouth when you're talking about... Do you see what I got to go through, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> now, now explain, what, explain what urban dexterity is for the people who don't know. There's an urban thought process. Uh-huh. I'm going to simplify it. There's an urban thought process. Not to be confused with simplify from the U.S. Marines. Yes. That's a great word, too. I like that. Who I like those guys. So... We have an urban thought process, an urban thought process right now. There's something that, that I learned, you know, in, the, in between the time of our last show to today. The California GOP head, Jessica Patterson, mm-hmm. wonderful person, wonderful person, and we like her. I mean, she either, whatever. Okay, okay. She, she had her hands tied from the national and were, was told who to support. Mm-hmm. So on a national scale, there were people who were saying there were winnable races and unwinnable races. This is true. So on a national scale, they they felt as though they didn't back those who were in unwinnable races. That so was the, the people who lived, the people who ran in urban communities. Right. Like myself, Kim Clasey, and Andrew all Stanton that. King, all people of that. like that. All of that. Okay. So now the word is coming back right now, dexterity. The simplicity of now being able to understand that the urban community, do you understand that Black Lives Matter, quote unquote, was pushed into urban communities to affect? Now, I need you. I need everyone who is a bona fide uh, NP party Democrat who's listening or Republican who's listening to tune in very, very well. Joe Collins, do you understand that the urban community had the greatest effect on our election? I mean, aside from voter fraud, so you have voter fraud, yes. number one. Yes. Bad voters, number two. Yes. And then a lack of outreach in black communities, number three. Do black you, and Latino Do you understand that they have played a game? Los Angeles, Chicago, Detroit, Miami, New York City, Houston, Texas, Atlanta, Dallas, Georgia. Texas, Atlanta, Georgia. All of the major hubs of individuals and peoples where there's a major conglomerate. The Democrats have played a game to perfection to work for them. Where we may win 30 states. Donald Trump won 30 states. And because of a marred election, 20 states with a conglomerate of a certain amount of people, still they were able to say, we've given him the victory. Well, yeah. This is exactly what we have to be able to change. Well, that's going to be impossible. Because here's the deal. The Democrats didn't play the game perfect. The Republicans didn't play the game at all. Say it again. The Republicans didn't play the game at all. This is what we have to learn. On this show, sir, ladies and gentlemen. And then you have establishment Republicans 
who are absolutely trash. <laughs> and, I, and, and, I, and I don't mind saying it because what, what are you, you going to do to me? This, you're going to disavow me? You're going you're gonna to tell me I'm not welcome in the Republican Party? Like, you're not reaching out to my community anyway. Right. I am the Republican voice in my community. You are the Republican voice in your community. Man, we take heat for that. Yep. Heat. Used, used to. Used to. Not mm -mm. anymore. You still take heat for that? What? What? People be like, hey, man, you going to run again? Oh, no, no. They, they, want, they want you to run again. Mm hmm But you know the thing that they don't want? They don't want you to have a successful campaign. We're going to talk about it. But the, what, the, the community or, or the party? Which one do you think? We got to talk about it after, after the, the break. Party. The break is about to bring us back. All right, we're about to take a break. We'll be right back. You guys stay tuned in. The New Black Republican, 790K ABC. Hey. hey. Welcome back. So the show name is The New Black Republicans. And yeah. I just, I just, I just found out that we're on prime time now, so we can't be clowning around like that. So you gotta, you gotta knock it off, Big Rob. Hey, you know what? Sticks and stones will break my bones. No, they, no, they won't, because you six seven, <laughs> two hundred thirty pounds. They ain't gonna make it to them bones. Did you say two thirty? <laughs> hey, I actually checked, and uh, I got on a scale, mm -hmm. and uh, I was a legit two forty one. Nice, good. I'm yeah. fasting. Yeah. I'm about one hundred and fifty pounds lighter than you. You one fifty lighter. One seventy. I'm one seventy solid right now. That's not bad though. Because mm -hmm. I'm five six. I'm short though, so it's different. But five six and one seventy is not bad. It's pretty good. I'm stout. I'm, it's because my bones are big. You would know you, what I'm saying? I got big bones. If would I, you would you I, want to take a fight against somebody at one seventy? Listen, the call in number is one 222 If you want to call into the new Black Republican, please say, call say in. the number again, please. The number is one 222 Hold on, if let, you me, want to let me say it the way they're going to understand because you said it way hey, too fast. Use the sexy voice. I said, give a call in at 1-800-222-5222. Thank you very much. Now, you know what the crazy part about is, would I fight anybody at 170? Yep. Yes, I would. I'm with the business. I want all I want all the smoke. As a matter of fact, a guy sent me a message and said, uh, he said, hey, midget, uh, Omar Navarro said that he'll give you $10,000 to, uh, to, to fight him. And I and I and I responded. I said, um, <laughs> "Here we go." <laughs> I said, "Just go ahead and cash at me the money, right. you know what I'm saying, and go practice falling. I'll be there in a little bit." No, I told him. I said, "Yeah, if he, you know, I'll, I'll fight him. He don't even got to pay me to fight him. You know what I'm saying? Like just just go ahead and unblock me and, and step to me like a man and ask me. He got my number. He know where to find me at. You don't got to send somebody through messenger to to say, that, hey man, this guy want to fight you, Omar okay. Navarro. I'm a cop. It was on back messenger." Back. It was on it was on Twitter. Um on my Twitter. What, and what's I the responded name to um I don't know his name. You man. need to check, check the name because I can I uh oh we got callers. We got callers. This is I don't great. I don't want to I don't want to put his name out there. No, I'll tell you secret why you don't say his name because mm -hmm. really it's probably Omar anyway. Probably. Right. But listen, if he if he want if he want to box up, we can go and throw them boxing gloves on. He need to practice falling cute. He need to practice falling cute. Cause I'm gonna knock him out, it's gonna be ugly. Uh oh. He gonna be on the cover of Sports Illustrated, except he gonna be sleep. ESPN. Night night. ESPN. Yep. He thought he was fighting a politician. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran. Oh, we got a lot of phone calls. All right, Harrison. Let's 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 go to the phone lines. Let's go, Harrison. Harrison, what's up, man? How are you? Good, man. How are you? Man, I, I'm extremely blessed. God bless you. I feel that. I uh, I try to be grateful every day, even though it can be hard sometimes. Um, I, I was listening to what you were saying earlier about how um, America's not ready to move on, and I really resonated with that. I that hit that hit home for me because I feel like I feel like nobody is actually willing to like take a step forward and and to make a new step make new step forward to, to to move on, and everybody's still voting in the old, and it's just so interesting to watch. Yeah, I, I think that's true. I mean, and I, I have conversations with Democrats and Republicans about this, especially younger people on a regular basis. And I and I try to let them know, I'm like, yo, look at our politicians. How can we honestly expect to continue to move forward when we keep electing, you know, 60, late 60, 70, 80 year old politicians in the office on a regular basis? I mean, the, the Internet wasn't even developed when these people first got in the office. We didn't have cell exactly, phones. We didn't yeah. have TVs. So how can we expect exactly. these people to take us into the promised land? You know? 
Exactly. And I, I feel like um, I feel like everyone who's coming in who's new, at least in the, on the Democratic side, I'm an independent. But what I've been watching is that everyone's just super it's super scary what people say about free speech and not even about free speech of how they want to censor everybody. And it's just very scary. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. I'm not I'm not with the censorship. I'm actually working on dropping my own social media platform. We're not censoring anything except for child pornography and everything else. We're going to send it to the FBI and get those guys arrested. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, I'm just talking about just just when people want to say their opinions. And, and it's just it's scary when people will just shut you down. And even I'm I'm 24 years old and I I'm like I find myself even even holding back on saying things to, uh, to my peers and my friends just because I don't even want to I don't even want to get shut down because it's just a waste of time. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, don't be afraid, man. If they're your friends, they're going to they're going to love you regardless of whatever your opinion is. Yo, I appreciate you calling. Oh. We're about to go to the next caller. Thanks, Harrison. Uh, Call back in again, please. Neil. Neil, what's up, Neil? Bless you guys. Listen. God bless you, God too. God bless you guys. Oh, God bless. Well, you know, the one one of you's voice is kind of sports type. The other guy, a little Barry Whitish. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Barry That's, White, Barry it's White too was sexy. a great singer. It's too sexy, man. You're taking me back to the 70s, you know? <laughs> That's what it's all about. I want you to feel comfortable. Yeah. I think that's okay, how it's supposed you, to be. We got look. We got to make radio great again. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Listen. You. You guys are a breath of fresh air. Listen. Uh, I gotta ask you. Okay. Now, what is it? Is it Kamala or Kamala? So I, you heard her miss the the lady swearing in. I forget her name. Uh-huh. She called her Kamala, uh-huh. and then Kamala when she said her name, she said. Kamala. So apparently it's it's racist one way, the other way, because she gave, what's his name, Tucker Carlson trouble about that. Yeah. You know I, what I'm talking about? You know what? I call her trash. So I, I can't, I don't know if it's Kamala, Kamala. I just call her trash because you can't mess that you one know, up. You, but you know what? Hey, she's a good hustler. You got to give it to her. I think it's great. I'm going to tell you, this is this is my opinion. I'm not a big fan of Kamala Harris because of her record when it comes to the black community. But the impact of, of having a black woman as a vice president or who, who claims they're black as a, as a vice president, I think it opened up a lot of, a lot of avenues and opened up minds for a lot of young but, people but, who are hold, oppressed in, in hold, predominantly Democratic districts because of her. Is she black, though? Slow, I, that's why I said of yeah, color. Slow your okay. roll. I said she's, of color. She's a, yeah, a woman of color. Yeah. Okay, so she's... She's kind of blackish. Right. <laughs> you know what? I like that. You just hit she's, it on the head. She's blackish. She, you hit it on the head, Neil. Blackish. Yep. Yeah. But you yeah. know, and listen, it's like listen, a double S. I, 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 trust me, I saw a picture with her and Montel. She she had it going on. You know, <laughs> let me let me tell you something, Neil. There's, yep. there's something that, um, well, let's call her both names. Kamala and Kamala. Yep. So she's not a fan. And trash. Don't leave me out. Uh, okay. I feel and, like you no, no, no. We're going to call her. Kamala, Kam, Kamala, Kamala trash. Okay. But I'm leaving okay. that in your hands on that one. Watch this. Okay. She has put herself in a position that a lot of people want to be in as the vice president of the United States of America. Okay. Right. But, but the thing that we're going to be able to do as of today, and I'm calling on everyone who is standing and saying that they are registered independent or registered Republican. The thing that we're going to have to make sure of is that, is she handling the job appropriately? That is the key right there. Is she doing the job at her best? Because the last vice president, I can say he was active. He was involved. His wife was involved. I want to see the result of her being in that seat. And you know what's crazy, man? And Neil made a great point. He said that she's a hustler. She does what it takes. In my opinion, I think Kamala's a moderate. So if anything happened to Joe well, Biden, I'll be absolutely comfortable with Kamala being the president of the United States until we get another Republican. You think she's moderately socialist? Or? I think she moderate. I think she plays socialist to get the young people to be able to vote for her. Yeah, she, that she's base. playing that with AOC. Yeah, but, I, but guys, doesn't she just have to bring Biden's soup and maybe sleep with Putin? <laughs> <laughs> and Neil, you know what, Neil? I'm not. I'm not about to play. Hey, with Neil. You. you know what? You're trying to get us put off the air immediately. I hope you have an extra. If you, we, we, I'm, I'm a, we yeah, see I'm what area sure, you're calling from. Like uh, you, you probably have a spare, an no, a, a, a extra room or something in the house. That we have to stay in because they'll kick us off the air immediately. Yeah, if we oh, and we're gonna be living yeah, with I'll you. Put you. I'll put you in the bay. I'll put you in the basement where you guys belong. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks, thanks, for, thanks for calling, Neil. Let's go to the next, Denise. I think that's my mom. Hey, son, it is your mom. Hey, oh, how you uh-oh. doing? Hey, I'm doing good. What's up, mom? <laughs> and Mama. to the co-host, Rob, my other son. I That's just right. Say, I am 
so glad that you are back on the air. I missed you so much. And on Sundays, <laughs> I look miss forward you too. to listening to the show. And I was like, oh my God, when is that going to happen again? And so I'm just here to say I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad you're back on the air. Congratulations. I love you. And oh, wow. um, I'm looking forward to 2022, son. Oh, we got a lot of stuff going on even before 2022. We got we got the recall, Gavin Newsom effort. We're about to yes. get on board with that one. Yes. Uh, we got a lot of community projects that we're in the works with. We got a lot of community organizations that we're working with right now. We even have our own organizations. The New Black Republican is actually an organization that um, we're in the process of launching the radio. We're going to do TV and we're going to have the newspaper and we're going to be able to circulate, uh, you know, black news from a Republican perspective to the to the United States. We have our social media um company that we're going to be launching pretty soon hopefully the end of the week if we get everything integrated and that's going to be great as well so you raise the very good very good hey you be that history maker that you are (laughs) i I got your back i'm ready let's do it i love you (laughs) god bless you we miss you (laughs) hey we we, you that's all we do it's just about keep going about i need you to do me one favor you you had the whole conversation with him that was the serious conversation i need you to fedex some uh some fried fish please so (laughs) I'm gonna talk, I'll give you a call after, okay? I'll get the FedEx yes, ready. I can cook. I'm ready. I love you guys so much. Keep we up love the good you work, too. okay? All right, we thanks. Love you, too. you know what's crazy about right. fried fish? Today, so you know I went fishing the last couple of days, right? You did? I taught, I caught two crabs, two lobsters. I caught a scoping and a big oh, stingray. Did you say a scoping? Sco- a rockfish. Rock, rockfish. I've never seen that before. Well, you ain't going to see it now. It's already cleaned out and everything. I actually, this is my first time actually cleaning a, is it good? a, a stingray. Why am I, yeah, the scoping is real good. <clears throat> oh, how do you clean stingrays? You know what is crazy? You cut the fins off and you rip the skin back and it's got a little thick layer of meat. It's like scallops. Is it good? I don't know. We're going to find out. Oh, yes, we will. Goober. Goober. Let's go to the phone lines. Goober, what's up? How y'all doing tonight? All I think right. we're doing pretty good. We're doing well, thank you. Yeah, you know, I want to talk about the topic that, you know, Biden, now he's president. Now they're going to try to turn everything electric. You know, I heard they're going to ban all gasoline cars. Is that true? That's Gavin Newsom here in California trying to ban gasoline cars. That's why we're trying to recall them. In 2035, I heard. So what are we supposed to do? We're not going to be driving our gas cars no more? I think that, you know, he he did that to make it seem like he's doing something. Gavin Newsom has been, like, irresponsible as a governor. So 2035, he's not even going to be the governor anymore. So I'm pretty sure that legislation is going to die in the dark, like hopefully the Democratic Party does after Joe Biden's uh, election to presidency. Yeah, because, you know, if we're charging our cars and they cut the power out because of these high winds, how are we supposed to drive to work? You got to walk. Right. You know, if we have electric cars... And they cut the power off because sometimes, you know, when there's high winds, they cut the electricity off. Mm-hmm. So how is to put your charge on cars and go to work? I, I got a better question for you. If you got an electric car and you're in a part of California that are constantly having fires, how are you going to get out? No, I, I don't have one right now. But, you know, I was thinking because I thought they are going to ban old gas cars. I, I guess I didn't <laughs> understand what they were trying to do. Man, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. I'm going to make sure that gas cars are not banned in California or the rest of the United States or even the world for that matter. And then another thing I want to talk about, I heard that Biden wants to, like, re- uh, uh, make an executive order because Trump, when he was in office, you know, he put, like, Bigfoot back on the Endangered Species Act. <laughs> and I think Biden wants to take him off, so it's going to be an all our manhunt on Bigfoot all I'm a, over the country. You know? I'm going to tell you why. You know, Biden is 102 years old. And so Biden knows that they're more than one Bigfoot. And he knows that they're populating at a rate that's far faster than people can go and find them. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I, my friend told me that, you know, he's, he's going to take him off the Endangered Species Act. That's crazy. Goober, what, that I, let me ask you a question. Goober, can, yeah. I ask you, can I ask you a question, please? If yeah, Joe Biden whispering? takes him off, okay, yeah, and there's a reward put up, and we put together a team, to find Sasquatch, would you be part of our team? I've seen them live in the flesh. Uh-oh. You've seen them. You've seen them. He know where they at. He he. he yeah, knows when where I went out to the Sequoia, when I went to the Sequoias camping, I've seen them. I I recorded them. I've taken pictures of the footprints and everything. I knew. I see. He sounds like a man who knows what's going on. We have another caller coming. Yeah, in. I, and I didn't want to go hunting for him. You know. Yeah, for sure. But that's what I'm afraid of. All these hunters are going to start killing them off. Got it. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen. Hey, 
Hey, Goober, thanks for calling in. We got to go to a break. You guys, stay tuned. The new Black Republicans, yes. 790 KABC, Joe Collins, Big Rob. We'll be right back. Hey, hey I love when he says Big Rob. That's funny. <laughs> That's your new nickname, man. Robert Foster, the Big Rob. I like that. That's I cool. Bob. Bo- no. Bob. Bob. Can't do it. Bob Can't Foster. Do it. Can't do it. Never. Bob. All right, Bob. You, you, my mother called you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We're, we're back. I want to get. I want to get serious. I want to get serious for a second, okay? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the significance of of Joe Biden being the, the new president of the United States, regardless of how long, because I don't think he's gonna make it these these four years. Um, but Joe Biden is the epitome and definition of perseverance. Right, right. And he, and he has, has shown, shown the, entire the entire United, United States, States never, never to give to up, give on, up your on your dreams, dreams. even, even if, it if it takes you 49, 49 years to steal an election. election. And in the words, in the of, words Joe Biden, of Joe Biden, you know what it says, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it says, man. Come on, come on, man. You know what it says. You know, you know, paper, 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 you know. Did you just do? Did you say hug? Huh? 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 That's this That's, is what, this I is said. what I said. He wow. is the, he is the epitome. epitome. Wow. Wow. Of never, of giving, never up giving up on your dreams, 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 even if it even takes if it you forty nine years, years in public, in public office, office to steal an election. election. And in the and words of Joe Biden, that's the Constitution. You know what it says, man. Come on, come on, man. You know, you know that's what's so funny. Hey, come on, come on. Man. You know what's so you know funny what's about, that? about that? He actually did that in his speech. Kamala, speech. Kamala Harris, Harris actually started using that. Uh-huh. She started using like they asked yeah, her a question, question about, about uh, of number forty-five, President Donald Trump, uh-huh. and she said, she said, <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't answer the question, like. That's what's so That's funny. So funny. Mm-hmm. You know, people you know, people, people are trying to do things right now. Right now. And, and everybody, everybody who's tuned, tuned in, in right now, because right there's a lot of depressed lot of people out there. People are sad. sad. People are mad. They should be they angry. angry. They should be they extremely angry. angry. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. But do you know what's so funny, Joe? I sat there and I wanted to calculate. And and I spent some time, you know, really, you know, you have to go deep in yourself. And it was something that I came to a conclusion. conclusion. It takes takes a lot lot of water, water. but a lot of pressure to make that water come out. Water does not just flow directly from the ground to a pipe. And I was like, what what, what is that? That's prolific. And I was like, it takes pressure to push the water out. So right now, we are the water. The people, the people are the water. Are the water. And it takes, and this, it pressure takes this pressure to push out, to push the, out correct the correct things. things. But, if but if it doesn't, it work, doesn't correctly, work correctly, the price, the, the, pipe, price, will the bust, pipe will bust. And it will be too much pressure, too much pressure causing there to be causing a leak. Be a right leak. now, right now mm-hmm. we're finding out who the leaks are. Mm-hmm. We're finding out who the problems are. Yes, it's every yes, single aged politician who needs to retire right now. It's a lot of them. You know what I thought you were going to say? The most amazing thing is... I thought you were going to say the most, amazing, the most thing amazing thing is, thing is how it took Joe Biden 49 Biden years to still an election. He should have had that figured out a long time ago. No. I mean, he had the whole KKK behind him when he was doing the Grand Wizard's funeral. He's speaking there and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You need Barack Obama and Joe Biden's words to put together the most extensive voter fraud operation ever seen in the United States in order for you to win an election. Did you catch this, though? One thing that I noticed, I personally, because I was slightly busy, okay, slightly busy. Wayne, I'm not going to say I was fully busy. I was slightly busy entertaining my family on my daughter's birthday. Okay? So I didn't get a chance to watch the inauguration. You didn't miss nothing. No, I I didn't see it. There were 33 people there. They were all spaced out. 33. In order to make it look like there were more people, they took flags and put flags all down the memorial. 33 people at the inauguration of the United States of America. That's not including the kids. If you put the kids in there, 36. Joe Collins. 
Joe this is Robert Foster speaking. This is Robert Foster. Did you really just say? Did you really just there say? Are there are thirty-three. They were thirty-three people were at the inauguration of the president of the United States of America. That's just a guess. The that's just a guess. It, 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 it might not be true, but it wasn't a lot of people there. So mathematically, so that means mathematically, one, that means one plus thirty-two. One plus thirty-three people. You know what? I lied. You know I what? I lied. I lied. There are 25,033 people 25, there because they had 25,000 National Guard members there. Don't even government. let me lie to you today. I was privy to some information, Joe. Uh -huh. And I want you guys to be able to tune into this. You know, you when you're on the prime time. Hold on. Wait. You just scooted in your chair as if you were excited to get this information. So I know it got to be important. It's really, really good. All right. Let me hear it. Do you know that they they made sure to the best of their ability to make sure that it was nobody on the National Guard who was a registered Republican, number one. Number two, anybody who was a non pref you know, MP party, if that person was there, they were actually watching your texts and their phone calls. And they can fact check this, and they can check it. And any time someone said, well, President Trump didn't do that bad of a job, they were called in immediately. And they were removed off the detail. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really funny so because, really like, funny because I get like, what they're doing. What and they're you know, doing. this is what I want to be able to put out on the airwaves to everybody who's listening. Do me one favor right now. I need you to take a breath. I need you to take a breath. Okay, you took your breath. Okay, so you're still alive. Wait, you're still alive. Wait. If you got your mask on, you oh, your yeah, mask please on. put a tic tac yes. in your mouth because yes. I'm pretty sure mouth. you can smell your breath. Because Gavin knew so. I, I'm going to talk about that in the fourth segment because I really, I'm, I'm really upset. Really, this, this, I'm really upset. This, this mask. Okay, this mask, you want to wear a mask? You want? You want to wear a mask? I still have not I figured still out something. Have not figured out something. He told us to put a mask on. Wayne, I need you to turn the volume up. He told us to put a mask on. He took away the jobs of individuals. Took away the jobs. Yes, and made you stay home and made you and collect. $600. Six hundred dollars. No, he didn't. He didn't give you nothing. He nothing. gave illegal immigrants money. He didn't give us no immigrants money. Are you Bang. ready though? Yeah. Let me he are did you not ready? Tell yeah. any American he did not tell citizen, any American citizen how you were going to pay for the mask. How you were going to pay because. For the mask. Because if you go to a store, I don't know where to get those masks from. I don't know where my own mask from my own box. But what if I couldn't afford the mask? What if before I went to the pandemic, I just made an investment? Did they think about any of these things? Let me ask you a question, man. And this is a legitimate question. How are we in a 13 month of the two weeks slow to spread? And everything that they've tried to make us do has not worked to slow to spread. Wear your mask. Don't go out and gather unless you're Black Lives Matter. You want to go riot, then you can do that. But if you want to go out and you want to go. Go sit at the beach, can't do that, can't go to the park. If you go out, you have to wear a mask. If you're in a house, get close, but not too close. If you want to talk to somebody, talk to them. But it'd be better to send a text message, but you might not want to do that because you might get a computer virus. Right. You know what I'm saying? But wear your mask, slow the spread, stay six feet apart, unless you have to get six feet closer. Then get close, but when you're done, go six feet apart. Go outside your house. Go but don't go outside your house, your house unless it's an emergency. And, and if it is an emergency, emergency, go to the house. Stay away from the hospitals. <laughs> but don't go to the hospitals. But if you need an emergency where you need hospital attention, then go to the hospitals and get that attention. And you're not coming back out. And we still have not slowed the spread. I mean, they said we just hit one million. The spread is only happening in California. Yeah, Los Angeles. One million cases. Los Angeles. I mean, we're hot. I mean, literally. Not figuratively. I mean, I just came back I mean, from another state, I and people are eating, people yeah, are sitting in restaurants, people are sitting in you're restaurants. sitting inside, outside, anywhere you want, inside, and people are traveling to, to and from those and states. Yeah, absolutely. So you're telling me yeah, that so only, in LA, only in LA, I'll repeat it, only in LA. Only in LA. The virus is serious. It is. But you know what's not serious? Well, tell me but right you know what's not serious? Heart disease. Heart lung cancer, lung cancer, abortion, lung cancer. gunshot wounds. Okay, to the chest. come on, come on. Gun now you're talking. Okay. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Flu, heart attacks. Heart attacks. Do you know gun violence is up right now? One thousand percent. Gout. Yeah. Did you say gout? Mm -hmm. Foul. Doubt. Mm -hmm. Two shots. People are dying more from doubt than coronavirus. Two shots and gout. Did you just say gout? The crazy part about it is, man, I've been telling people like, oh, coronavirus is so bad. Well, why are you still here then? Why are you still here then? Do Do you understand that right now? That right now, I understand you want to wear a mask. You want to six feet. You wanna wear a mask, you but I have a question. Mm -hmm. But I have a question. How many people still go to work? And when you do go to work, you interact with other people. You do go to work. And when you interact with other people, you go home to the same wife, same lover, and or other. Same lover. And you interact with that person in an intimate way. So you're telling me that the spread is okay. Listen, people. Let me shut up, man. People be so scared of Just call virus. When people get in my face, I'm like, move before I start coughing. Back up on the. 
Don't but make me do it. You, you used to have to throw a right hook. Yo, you know I had a girl. I had a girl. You know I had a girl. I had a girl. I remember that. Doing coke. That was so disgusting. I moved like I had spider senses. I moved like I had spider senses. Yo, take us in the break. We'll be right back. Yo, take us in the break. We'll be right back. The new black KBC. I'm still, still disappointed. disappointed. I, you, you know, know I, I really, really wanted, wanted to, to to try to see some some, some martial, martial law. law. You know what I'm saying? That's that's yeah. the thing that makes me the most upset. I woke up this morning. I'm like, oh, it's about to go down today. President Trump is not playing games. The country's about to get shut down. He's about to put out all his voter fraud and have a re-election. And Joe Biden is gonna have a heart attack or go to jail. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was excited about. That's what I was excited about. Let's go to the phone lines. Jack, what's up, Jack? Hey, Jack. I'm I'm here. How you doing, Jack? Hey, I'm one of your I'm one of your financial supporters. I want you to be like Joe Biden and keep plugging away and <laughs> defeat the wicked witch of the West. Oh man, I appreciate that. We didn't give up. We we didn't give up at all. We actually Absolutely. filed shortly after election results came out, so we can uh, so we can run again. We know you know it's very unlikely that we lost this race for the amount of work to put in. But then you know crazy things has happened. I mean, look at Joe Biden. He's the president of the United States now. So. Hey, just keep plugging away, and uh, even though I'm going to have plans of bailing out of this crazy state, uh -huh. you got my, well, I get your emails, and Thank I'll you. continue to support you in your your next attempt at uh, at the Congress. I hope you make it. Thank, listen, where are you moving to? Thank you. Uh, looking at uh, north of, northwest of Dallas, of oh, Prosper. Nice. Good, good. What's, what Prosper. city, sir? Prosper. Prosper, okay. They got really good fishing up there, too. And you know what else? You, you can, can get, get hunting and fishing licenses cheaper than you can buy car registration here in, in California. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just hate to leave this incredible, what used to be an incredible state, but, uh, you know, things are going down the, we're swirling the drain, so yeah. I think it's time to consider moving, moving out. It's a sad state of affairs. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true, man. Well, well we're, we're sorry to see you go, but I really appreciate you supporting our campaign. Thank you Absolutely. so much. I really Thank appreciate you, Jack. Well, I'll continue doing that, and I'll I'll be watching. I'm hopefully in two years you'll be sitting up in in D.C. Uh, dealing with the insanity there. So <laughs> I'm not I'm not, I'm not excited, excited about, about it, it, but we a steamroller, man. It's because, because of people, people like you who supported our campaign and allowed us to do what. What it is that we do when it comes to taking care of our community and and doing what we can in order to make us a better America. Well, the city. Is, I came out here after I got out of the army in uh, 1980, and clearly, it's not the state that I came to in 1980. The only now the only positive thing is my eyes don't burn because I worked in downtown LA. So, as far as the smog's concerned, huge improvement there but everything else seems to be going in the opposite direction. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. They, they, they shut, shut the state, state down. That was the first, first time I could smell, smell seawater at the airport. airport. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, Jack, hey, Jack thanks, thanks for calling, for calling in. You have, have a great evening. evening. God bless you. Bless you, man. Bless you, man. Thank, you. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Hey, Big, hey, Rob. Big Rob. What's up, Jam? Liz, Liz Cheney. Cheney. Yeah, this, she's... Liz, Liz Cheney wow. has, has somebody who's going to challenge her in a primary. Who's going to challenge her? His name, His name is Anthony, Anthony Bouchard. Bouchard. Oh, yeah, I've heard about him. Yep, he yep. said he's going to challenge her because, because she voted, she voted to, impeach to impeach President Trump. Trump. Mm -hmm. because, they because they claim that, that he incited, incited a riot. riot. Now, I don't now, know I don't how know you can how incite, you can incite something, something, something that's, that's been planned, planned months, months in advance. In advance. Ignoring, Ignoring the fact, the fact that, that the federal police call for help from the mayor six times got denied. From... Uh, uh, who else? Who the else? the, the National, National Guard, Guard got denied. Got denied. Right, that's true. Now all of a sudden, President Trump, Trump said, peacefully go down, down and, and let your voice be heard. heard. When people, when people are already breaking, breaking into the Capitol, into the Capitol and, all and all of a sudden, this is his, his fault. <sighs> and then they rushed this impeachment, impeachment trial. And this is the crazy part. And then held it back. I have not yet to understand. How do you rush an impeachment trial two days? Two days. But it took, but it seven, took months seven months to get $600 to people, in, people in America some, some, some stimulus, stimulus checks. checks. That brings, that me, brings to me to my next point. point. One, One word that, that I absolutely hate, hate hearing politicians say, say, we're trying, we're trying to, do to do this, we're trying to do that. So you mean to tell me all this time you're trying to do some stuff. Right, absolutely. And you're never accomplishing it. You're lying to the people telling that you're trying, but you can get some articles of impeachment together like that? Like that? 
you know, you know, knock it off. Knock it off. Watch this. <clears throat> you can mark you this can on your mark calendar. This on your there were many, there things, were many said things said by the current, by the current established, established president, president, who is number 46. He has stated many has stated things, many that, he things will that he will do. do. In the first, In the first day, day, he has done, done what, 17 executive orders? He, and he lied about, he about it. He said, I'm not going to exert power through executive, executive orders. orders. So he's getting off at 17 executive orders. So you know about to see out of this guy for the next Oh yeah, he's four years. He's actually going to attack everything that President Donald Trump did. He's going to try to attack it. Now he's going to do everything. He even has stopped the selling of oil and gas in Alaska. Already. Already. I mean, I mean, let's just wipe, let's just wipe, let's just wipe that history. You know what makes you know me what upset makes about it? Jesus Christ. He ain't going to remember, remember next, next week. week. Wow. Wow. Wait. Wait. Uh, uh, did you, 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 did you know, the you know, the Keystone Pipeline is dead. Who stopped that? You did that. You did it. You, did it you know what? You know he, what? Just he, part, just he just pardoned. He just pardoned. Are in the process of a pardoning. Eleven million illegal criminals in the United States. Right. right. I, that's that's, I, that's the thing that really, thing blows, that really my blows my mind. mind. Oh, oh, we got David here. David's on. David's on. David, what's happening? What's happening? Oh man, you guys are, are great. Uh, like uh, one of your previous callers, I'm I'm a supporter, and Thank I'm you. glad to hear you're back uh, now. And your counterpart, that you guys are, are are great. You're talking about all the the good stuff. I I wanted to get in before the end of the hour, but uh, you know it's kind of random. But your your other callers have got a lot of good stuff, and but yeah, more so. You know <clears throat> yourself, you you're solid. And and this is uh, the kind of stuff that we, you know, the, those of us who are a bit discouraged, uh, you know, out here, we we hope you you know you're going to uh, be there uh, for us. And, you know, you, you're calling out, uh, you know, Liz Cheney now. You know, I mean, it's and so it's you know on a on a national basis. This is just it's 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 getting crazy. It's it's gotten crazy, and you guys are there. So this, <clears throat> absolutely. This is Hey, David, you know what's hey, crazy David, about you know what's it crazy is about the, it the, the craziest thing, thing is we've been calling this stuff out, out before, before it even happened. Like, whenever, even we, happened, first like, whenever we first decided to get in politics and start running, we've been calling we've this been stuff been out calling for, calling for a long, long time, but nobody wanted to believe us. Now it's actually happening. They're like, oh, man, you guys are right. We know this. We know this. Oh, yeah, no. You know, I know you're solid, you know, on all this stuff. You got, you got, and so, you know, my my background you know, on, on some of this stuff would be, gosh, you know, uh, Larry Elder and even, um, you know, some some other folks. So I, I'm curious about, you know, your, your take on that, because he's got so much. And then and then even even prior, you know, um, one of uh, Obama's um, uh, opponents, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I was I was big on him and tail. Yeah. And and yeah. and so it's like. Uh, you know, so this is great. You're getting around to a lot of good stuff. I, I hope you got a lot of time uh, to to put us, you know, put uh, so many things into perspective the way you have tonight with such short time. I know you got that. You know? <laughs> we appreciate it, David. I appreciate it, David. I appreciate it. We're running short on time. Let's get to the next caller, Colleen. Colleen. How are you? How are you? I'm great. Hi, I'm great. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let me wonderful. let me ask you a question. Let me, let me ask oh, you a question. This is a serious oh, question. This is a serious question. How do you feel? How do you feel about Illegal immigrants, illegal, being pardoned, immigrants being pardoned, illegal, illegal immigrants being pardoned. Illegal immigrants being pardoned. Immigrants being pardoned by by Joe, by, Biden. By Joe we Biden. We got a lot of innocent, men, lot of innocent men sitting in prison right now who nobody's right even now, who you know reviewing, reviewing their records. Their records. Yeah, I, I don't understand why is why is the, the priority of things. I, it just he wants unity. He wants to you know to be the person to take care of everyone in, in the United States and all our people and help. So why is he starting there? That doesn't make any sense. To yeah, I I I, yeah, I, I haven't figured it out either because I'm last time I checked, these were these were people, these people who broke federal people laws, and now you're getting the pass. And that and yeah. that's uh, yeah. I, I'm I'm dumbfounded yeah. by it. I'm dumbfounded you by know, it. Every every you know, time I think about every, it. Every time I think about it. It doesn't make any sense. It just. But I, you know, I'm driving home from work. I never heard you guys. I turn on the radio. <laughs> And you guys are hilarious. Are you so are you really in charge? Really really because you know, like, because you know we used to be on those right, Sundays. Right, right. Sundays. Right. And then we got we got moved, we got moved we got to Wednesdays moved, because, it Wednesday because, because it was a better time. Colleen, let me ask you a question. Yeah. So you said you're, yes. you're driving home, you you're okay? Driving home. And you turned on 790 KABC, which is the best station to turn on while driving. 
certainly is. Okay, so we agree on okay. two so things. We agree on the third two. thing that we need to agree the on. Third thing that we need to agree what on. are you making for dinner what tonight? Are you making for dinner tonight? It's either going to be chili or shrimp. Okay, well, both sounds so good. She we'll, make we'll, chili and so this, what, what we're going to do next chili. week is this. Since you're you're probably in the LA basin, next week Correct. we're going to invite you to the station to bring in the chili, to bring in the chili and the shrimp, and let us and taste it, so we can know that so you're an effective cook, cook, effective cook after cook. getting out of work. But I mean, it gotta be it gotta be new. But you can't make it today and put it in the freezer until. No, no, she can freeze it if it's chili. No, no, she can it gets even it better. But the shrimp. Yeah, shrimp. I'm not freezing we'll, for you. Now. We'll have. We'll, 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 we'll have. Don't need salmonella. Salmonella. Colleen, thank you so much for thank you so much for listening, and we truly appreciate it. Please tell all your friends to make sure that they jump in also. Absolutely, I look forward to Wednesday nights now. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, Colleen. Thanks for calling in. God bless you. Have a great evening. God bless you. Have a great evening. So that, was, that was cool. Yes. I mean, you know what's so funny? About? I mean, we actually get great callers, people that have real potent things to say. I want to talk to that guy who called in last time, and I had to give him the rundown of the 1960 civil rights bill. I want to talk to that guy. He probably is not going to call back in. Probably not. No. Nah, he's, he's probably pretty busy. He has to go buy the mask right now. Uh, you, can't uh, you can't Uber, Uber Eats, Eats and all the rest all of the establishments. It's taking it's longer taking for food, food to come. Food to come. Yeah. You, can't yeah. you can't go out. Um, uh, I, mean, I mean, we even tried we to even order tried food to order one time, and the guy called me back and said, hey, we're packed, we're, packed. we're, we're slammed, you know, we're going to cancel this order. And I was like, wow. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. This has been a this pretty been great, great show. show. I, I really like This is number one. This is the whole night to do I really enjoy this. This is great. Yep. Yep. I, I, well, I mean, ask a question. Are you ready for next week's show already? I'm already ready. This is what this you is could what do. This is what you could do. Colleen's, Colleen's, Colleen's follow, 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 follow me. Follow me on social me media. Okay. Joe E. Collins, I, I, I. And that's all the platforms. Say it again. Joe E. Collins, I, I, I on all the platforms. I get to say mine. You ready? JoeCollinsCollins.com. Yes. Now tell everybody how they can find you, Big Rob. You can find me at at the real Robert Foster on Instagram and you can also go to Facebook and look up Robert Foster you'll see me in a black suit with a red lapel I think that, I think that Rob, should Rob should change all of his, all names, of his names on social, on social media to Big Rob that's what I think if you think that we'll be back, back next Wednesday, Wednesday and I want to hear, hear what you think hear what you think next Wednesday, 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 Wednesday you, you really want my mom the new black republican the new black republican I will see you I will see you God bless you stay safe and we out and we out that's right see you next week